YouTube, what is good? We are back and we have a great batch of orders right here. A lot of work to do, so we're gonna try to rifle through this very quickly. Got some threes and fours up here. Fear fours, you don't see those too often. GS and men's pair, don't see that happen too often. Fire Reds, Amaz, Seen Better Days, OG, Gray and White, Twelves. We got some Lamellos. I think that's the Lamello 3. First pair of Lamello 3s we've sold. Two pair of playoffs next to the Cherry, aka Rip Hamilton 14s. We got some Blazers, we got some Dunk Highs, some Union Dunks, which I bought in the Pittsburgh video. Shouts to everyone who watched that. Greatly appreciate the support there. Roller derbies, that's a shoe people always pump fake on, but finally someone made a great offer and we accepted it. We got the Zoom Flight 96 going out. That's the Olympic colorway. I found a pair of those in one of my first kind of viral flea market videos, so always have good memories with that pair. We got the Billy Hoyle Command Force. Feel like that's a shoe that every time we get it, as long as we're patient, it eventually sells. We got some copy paste up tempos. Never seen those before until they came in. We got some villain reds. That's a nice jerseys, Ravens, Ray Lewis. 49er Steve Young. Awesome Yankees jacket that I recently got. Vince Carter next to the DMP Raptors. Great pair right there. We got some Yeezys. We got some Air Forces. We got some Air Maxes. That Air Max Light 2. Great pair right there. Sold for only $100. Awesome Ray Bork shirt next to a pair of 2006 Lightning 4s with a soul swap. That's very cool to see. Speaking of very cool to see, anytime we can sell a Dub Zero or honestly any used pairs with no box, I'm very happy about it. Shouts to all y'all for the orders and all the support what do you guys think about the orders great batch of orders today we got the roller derbies that's a classic right in the middle honestly i hadn't seen the market on them and when i seen what they had sold for i was a little surprised but that could have just been me not being aware of what they go for you know no box pairs it's funny because the no box pairs i feel like you know all the box pairs you're gonna get some some decent pairs you're gonna get some heat you're gonna get some bricks the no box pairs i feel like there's always such a variety like just having the dub zeros next to a soul swap pair of lightning fours i think that's pretty crazy glad someone pulled the trigger on those lightnings though i think it's a very cool concept to you know soul swap an older pair like that i think a lot of people talk about doing it but then when you know it gets re-retro people just want to get the the newer pair and they don't care about the older pair anymore so nice to see someone cares about that older quality i think 2006 jordan 4 lightning still and now that it's soul swapped hopefully it lasts them a lot longer than uh the original soul would those sakais i'm not a fan of them personally i think there's a couple of like the original sakais that came out that were kind of nice like there's those blue and red ones that are kind of nice but other than that they kind of flooded the market with those i remember when they were coming out they did a bunch of different collabs so nice to see a pair of those going out for me personally they aren't the easiest sell i haven't seen a lot of them go out here so it's either they don't try and buy them here or they just don't really sell but uh, either way still a good, good pair to see going out nothing much else for me nice to see uh uconn taking the dub last night watched the whole game my wife actually had purdue and uconn in the final but she had purdue winning i told her that she should probably put uh, all her money on all the money she was gonna win she was gonna win like 200 bucks if Purdue won. Told her she should probably put some of her potential winning on UConn to win. She was like, nah, I'm gonna ride it out, see what happens, which I respect, but I didn't tell her and I put the 200 on uh, UConn spread and uh, they covered it as they have been this entire tournament and they pretty much took out Purdue completely. Purdue just fell apart in the second half. So I won a little money, probably just gonna go towards the wedding fund and uh, nice to see UConn, you know, take another championship, so. This is a great variety of stuff from Nikes to Yeezys to those random blazers on the corner. Sakai's, like Jake said, aren't the best sell, especially for us. I believe when we sold those, they still have like the old pictures from the old store. And whenever we get those shoes in, specifically that color, it's one of the hardest Sakai's to sell. So finally glad to see the one go. Command Forces, a classic shoe. White Man Can't Jump, classic movie. So can't go wrong there. The 12s from 03, beautifully aged and cooked. Joy Brandy, if you're watching this, bring back the Jordan Face Box. Jordan 14, I like to call them the Candy Canes or the Rip Hamiltons. Currently looking to buy a pair, not in a rush though, but that's definitely a great classic 14 that I feel like gets swept under the rug. Fear 4s, those are re-retroing, I believe towards the end of the year, so I'm glad that we can get that one out the way so we could let new pairs come in. Roller Derbies, glad to see that one go out. I saw how much it sold for and it's pretty great to see that one go. A lot of people pump faked on those. Those are Zoom Flight 96 is correct? Yeah. So I really like the colorway on those. Gives me like OG basketball vibes and I love this variety of no box stuff, especially the DMPs next to the Vince Carter jersey. I believe he got entered into Hall of Fame recently, so shout 
shout out to Vince Carter, one of the best, or if not, the GOAT of dunking. So, shout out to Vince Carter. Shout out to all y'all for watching and supporting. We're gonna get all this stuff shipped out and see what happens today. What's going on, YouTube? Happy Tuesday. Been super dead for the past hour and a half. The guys and me had just been listing, taking pictures. So if you're looking for something, check us out. TopTrollFix.com on eBay. Beautiful outside, 70 something degrees. That's why you know, I'm wearing shorts. Got an unboxing here. Been looking forward to this for a while. Been looking at this shoe for like a good amount. And I was just waiting for a decent pair to hit eBay or whatever. And I finally found one. So here we go. <laughs> always we have ebay sometimes it's good to us sometimes you're not here we are we have a replacement box and boom the moabs hmm. these are a lot more Bruh. more than i expected but i did get them for a decent price they are <laughs> they are already worn <laughs> I'm still gonna rock them though. Not I mean, for sure. I expected these to look pretty worn, but they are pretty worn. It's the toe box that's really getting to me. I feel like it just needs some TLC. A lot of TLC. A lot of TLC. You guys can see. Boom. I'm still gonna rock them nonetheless, just because I've been looking for this sneaker for a while. Definitely need some work. If I have a before and after of uh, what they look like, I'll put it in the video. But this is what we're working with. And that toe box does look a little crazy, but some TLC will do the job. Hopefully, we'll see how these turn out. But caught a steal on eBay, couldn't refuse the price. Do have the black pair, we'll be rocking those soon as well, but we'll see how these turn out. Carolina, Huskies looking to join John Wood's UCLA team with the only the three. I'm good, how about yourself? I'm good. This is everything? Yeah, these are new. Oh, these? Yeah, these are DS. You? These are used. Okay. Yeah. This one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, just depending. Whatever I get in there. Um, are these two also maybe? No, no, no. These are, these go on. Go on, okay. Yeah. okay so we'll probably use this one last time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's see. Just try it on this one. I didn't even try it on. I laced them bad boys up and I was going to think about wearing them and I was like, <laughs> it be like that sometimes. Yeah. It be like that. I got yo. I, I just got so much. Bro. So you getting rid of a lot of ones? Yo, bro. I, I got so much. <laughs> like I got too many now. Like it's, it's really. I be laughing when I go to the closet. Like I need some diversity. That's what I be telling myself. Like, <laughs> I need to. I need to start switching up. It's like you tell yourself that that you, you find yourself in the same pattern still. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, because they keep drop. I mean, you know, they, they nah, always, it's hard sometimes. It's they hard. always drop nice colors that you be like, nah, I need those. I, I'm probably gonna wear them. And nah, then I end up keeping them in the closet forever. I never <laughs> wear them. Like, nah, that's how it be. That's how I mean. I do the same thing a lot of times too. Like I say, like I'm a I buy black shoes or red shoes. Yeah, and, and then like Nike. With Jordan Jobson, I was like, damn, like, I, <laughs> I gotta I, get those. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How much were you looking for everything? Um, I mean, you can go tell me what, what you, tell me your number and then. Like, did you have it individually or total? I had them um, individually, but. Like, the Zen, the Zen, the Zen Greens. How much were you looking for them? What Zen Greens? Which one was um, those? Uh, the bottom ones here? Yeah. I was looking for 50 bucks for those. Yeah, they're not too far off. So Just because I know those don't really sell well new or used for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bleach Coral? Yeah. Who are you asking on those? Um, those, I think I was at... What was that, those? 
think I had those at 120. The Electra Orange. Did I have those at, I think I had those at 60 for you guys. Uh, the Fearless. Those I had like at 150. 150. The Navy 13s. I had those at 110 for you guys. I forgot the name of these, but the Dunk Highs. 50. And these two 50. Uh, the Red Pandas. Pandas. I had them at once retail. I think it was a buck 25 or something, but I'll take the buck 10 though on those. Buck 20 they were. Yeah, I'll take the buck 10 on those. Well, I'll take the buck on those. Uh, Obsidians. Oh, the price drop. Uh, I was like at 280 for you guys. This one you said 50, right? Yeah. Indeed, or you just want to wait for these? Tell me where you at on these. Who, who are you, you comfortable you? with? I know you really like those, and I yeah, know for us, we got a bunch of those, but. Mm. 150? So, without these so far, I'm at 690 for everything. 690? Yes. What's your breakdown on that? Uh, so, like these, I was at like 30. These are going for like 100 mil. Same thing with the Zen Greens. You Ups could come up a little bit on these, like. At least five. The dunks, the dunks, the dunks, the one, that's it's the kicker. Like, no one wants them right now. That's the only problem. Um, but I was at two, 240 on the Obsidians. Because I was, 250 here? Possibly. Okay. I was at uh, I was at 80 here. For the Red Pandas, not going for much. They're going for like a buck 10, buck 20. Dunk high, that was another one. I was at 30. I was at a buck on the Fearless. I was at like 60 on the um, 13s. The bleach, I think I was at another. Yeah, the bleach corals, I was at 70. Electra orange, I was at 50. You was at 60 there, which is 690. Yeah. Um, do 700 there. That's cool. Um, That's cool. And then you want about 50 there? Do about 50 on these. Uh, That's fine. So that should be 850. Yes. That's cool. How did we pay you last time? Was that right? Time, okay. Wrapping it up, not much uh, for me other than I've uh, been just doing a lot of drafts and stuff. And yeah, it's nice outside. Hopefully, it'll be nice this week. And shouts to everyone for buying stuff. Shouts to everyone for watching. Love y'all. Shouts to everyone who bought something and support the eBay in the store. One and done. One and done. See you guys tomorrow. Oh. YouTube, what is good? We're back. We have a nice little batch of orders right here. We'll start off at the top. Marine is going out. Thought that she would be going for a lot more. Definitely going for a lot less. We got a brand new pair of black cats with damage box going out. Check prices on those crazy stuff. Three lab fives, crazy stuff because retail on those back in the day was like 225, something like that. So that's crazy. Bread 11's classic. Speaking of classics, black cements, you know, that's one of those shoes that even beat up. They always go for a decent amount of money and uh, they look better as they age if you ask me personally this one right here is crazy i don't really know what these are or where they're from or anything about them but i knew that they were super rare and we had to put them up for a high price shouts to the dude who made a decent offer on them why so sad's going out next to some vimeros here we have an interesting one you look at those and they look like hyper dunks but i believe those are called the hyper maxes that's a volt tennis ball colorway that we've had here for i like since grand opening roughly but it's one of those things that if you find the right person you find the right person they're super clean i don't know maybe worn once so whoever bought those hopefully they're going to enjoy them maybe get a bucket or two speaking about bucket or two we put up that batman shirt and it sold like right away shout out to the dude from thailand who bought that one for 65 bucks shipped maybe we underpriced it it is what it is glad they were able to get a good deal speaking about good deal these mochas we mistakenly put up for a lot lower than we should have but we're going to send them out anyways because it is what it is so shout out to that dude for sniping that good deal air raids use pandas Drake whoa whoa i didn't even realize we got two drake items going out right next to each other the knock to slide with the uh what's that called lover boy hoodie or something like yeah. that and uh king james lakers lost last night but shouts to whoever bought the heat jersey or didn't burn anything for the people about the order one thing i really noticed when we were putting all these orders together is that this is like the first time i could remember that there's no other brand besides like nike jordan straight oh wow nike jordan which i love because you know we all love 
tricks in the jump in over here. So love this back going out because there's a lot of different stuff, a lot of you know hype. Like you got the mochas, you got black hats. Then you have like the older stuff, like the air raids, which is kind of crazy because I literally just saw a picture of Spike Lee and them yesterday, just like an old picture. But it was crazy how that surfaced, and then we sell one like right after that. Black Cement threes. Love seeing that shoe um, come into the store, and I love selling that shoe. A said that shoe always does well for us, no matter what the condition is. That one is yellowed on the toe, but still, it's still and that's a pretty decent price. Just seeing the condition of those is just really beautiful. I love seeing that shoe beat down because I think that's what they're meant for. Tom Sachs, I think that's a great spring summer shoe. Really lightweight, really comfortable. The Why So Sad, I, I believe it's like Autism Month. So I think that was the, the correlation with that shoe too. So shout out to everyone with autism. The Drake hoodie and the Drake Noctis, the Glides. That shoe's still growing on me. I, I'm still not a fan, but that shoe is still growing on me. And then shout out to the person who bought the Batman because it's kind of creepy. But we've been putting it up clothing lately and it's been flying like really, really fast. So shout out to you guys. Yeah, the Black Cats, crazy to sell another one of those. I feel like whenever we get those in, they sit for a little bit, but then eventually sell for that crazy price. So shout out to everybody about that one. Red 11s, Black Cement 3s, definitely some classics right there. And like Jordan said, Tom Sachs, great spring summer shoe. Super lightweight and super comfortable in my opinion. Those dunks, don't even know what those are, but I do like the design on those. Romero's, that's definitely going to be a summer favorite, I could tell already. But the amount of colorways and the uprise of the Romero's is going to be a pretty good one, I feel like, in the summer, spring. So if you didn't grab a Romero yet, Yet, definitely try it this batman animated shirt in my opinion really like that show watched a couple episodes way back when and i sometimes i still do rewatch the old ones just because uh they don't make animated shows like that anymore and also shout out to drake i believe he wrapped up his tour in new jersey recently so i believe a couple of my friends went i wasn't able to go unfortunately but crazy that he wrapped up in jersey so yep thanks for all the support got a lot to do today let's see what happens all right it is 6 30 taking pictures and get a lot of this stuff on to ebay you know we've had problems mostly in the past of just trying to find things and locate things from the old store with the old background so we have a lot of this stuff new prices new pictures so you know hopefully it sells a lot faster and stuff like that so that's kind of what I've been doing today of course with a little bit of buy-in so again it's been slow lately school's almost out soon within like the next two months I expect things to pick up a lot faster there hasn't really been much releases too nothing crazy has been dropping so I think once like May comes around things are really gonna start picking up but yeah no sneaker shows as of late so it's kind of been a little slower but um thankfully enough we still have people coming into the store and stuff like that so again shout out to everyone who comes up to the store everyone business with whether it's online in store regardless of what it is we appreciate the support not much else to say for me yeah catch you guys tomorrow Berwin. anything we literally just cleared this table today it's already starting to fill up again so i'm expecting by saturday for it to be full once again another video to come out on tiktok and instagram which reminds me i just dropped one today which is april 10th so if you guys want to check it out top shelf thrift and tiktok um top shelf kicks other than that looking forward to kind of picking up later this week if not totally cool means could we get more work done but again uh, appreciate everyone out there one done one done catch all friday peace YouTube, what is good? We're back and we have a nice batch of orders. First off, shout out to everyone who watched the video last night. It was a good one. Speaking of good one, we got some good and some bad and some ugly in here, but that's okay. Still a great batch of orders. We'll start off at the top. We got some lows, mids, zoom comforts, and some highs. Raging Bull 5s, the re-release. Great pair if you ask me. And uh, you would think they would be going for like 500 bucks nowadays, but they're really not. Speaking of going for something, but really not, we got the Gratitude 11. We said it once or twice. That shoe still sells well for us, regardless of what the market states black and baby blue 13 sold for under retail ship great pair right there you know a lot of 13s i feel like are slept on and definitely some classic colorways not that that's a classic colorway but you know still a cool colorway reminds me of the charlotte bobcats gray 12s 12 and a half shouts to will for picking up this fitted right here he was grabbing this one and another one the other day so we greatly appreciate the support there we got the black and yellow 12s next to the playoff 12s next to the win like 96s Tyrese, nice to see those go the 270 tiger edition check the apps that's a shoe right there that actually commands some value we had them sitting on vote for a while they finally sold for about 300 nice colorway of the air max plus these are two shoes right here that i don't think you would see too often in stores the freddy krueger vans maybe maybe you'll see those but the brand new Derek roses i mean come on those are crazy right there some awesome no box stuff over there some jerseys some shirts this rangers jersey you got to shout out matt for bringing by the stadium series stuff i've seen those jerseys here and there but i really didn't know that they went for a lot 
Pato. Shout out to him for dropping those by last Saturday. What kind of work to do today. Guys, anything about the orders? Watch out of the first one. Got the D Rose. Those are really dope. Remember when those drop? Everyone loved them. It's actually a pair you could get at Marshalls. Really, really dope shoe. Great basketball shoe. I think one of the best Adidas basketball shoes that they've made in a while. The 270, the Tigers. I think that's the best colorway as well. Surprisingly, those are, you know, actually faked a lot. The Air Max Plus. Great colorway. Nothing crazy, but I just like the colorway and silhouette of that shoe. Went like 96. I love selling those because it's really hard to move. Um, so whenever you can sell a shoe like that, it's always dope. Shout out to the people who bought the hats. I know we just got like a collection of hats in last week and like three or four of them already sold. So shout out to you guys. Dope colorways there. Shout out to the dude who bought the Travis Scott stuff. Literally just listened to that stuff in the game and shirt I feel like we've had for a while. So really happy to see that go. Shout out to the person who bought the Rangers hockey jersey because that's really fire. Like A said, like I didn't know how rare or hard to find those are. So that's pretty crazy. Tattoo Liberties, their sevens. I know bought those a while ago. So really happy to see those go. Those vans, you know, it's nothing crazy, but it's kind of dope to see that we sell like a variety of everything. So we can sell something like a van. It's pretty dope. Not much for me today. You know, it, it's an in interesting batch for sure. To me personally, it looks like a lot of stuff that, you know, we'd be very happy to move. Obviously, we're very happy to move anything, but this just looks like a lot of stuff that I know uh, we'd look at it and we try and move for the low, you know, with the exception of the gratitudes and a couple other pairs here. But there's there's definitely some hidden gems. Those 270s, like A was saying, go for some, uh, go for some bread. Yeah, nothing else much for me. You know, it's a, it's a decent batch. It's just stuff I know that we're, we're happy to, happy to move, you know, get going and sell whatever's next. First, I want to start by saying shout out to that family from Boston who sold the Hair 7s and the Statue of Liberties. Believe those came in with a, a lot of other no box shoes and they traded for a Space Jam 11. So shout out to you for making the trip here, showing love. That's really awesome. Also got to shout out again, the guy who bought the Travis Scott merch. Like Jordan said, we've had that gaming shirt since the last store and I'm finally glad to see that one go out. Also, the guy who bought the merch said that he made business with no, us that before. Was actually, hold on, hold on. That was actually a new one that I got in uh, oh. at a show. We sold that last one. That one was brand new. That one okay. we got at a show. Oh. So cool though. It's funny to see that one again. Great to see that one go out. I believe the guy who bought this stuff also bought the Travis Scott Force from us a couple months ago. So if you're watching this man, thank you. We appreciate the support. Two hats, like Jordan said, we just got a bundle of those that just uh, hit our eBay recently. And I'm really glad to see those go out because those are some really dope logos. And I really like how the patches are just insane, especially that one. Those Jordan 1 lows kind of remind me of a union. But again, shout out to everyone who's been buying off the eBay and shout out to whoever bought those Freddy Cougars. Those are sick. That's all y'all. Let's see what happens today. What's going on, y'all? Happy Friday. I think someone might be coming in to sell some stuff. So I'm gonna make this quick. But basically, order a pair of shoes. Originally, it was supposed to be a clean pair of U Shattered Backboard 2.0s, but they got sent back because they were fake. Fortunately, that th that never happened. But here we are. We have another shoe that I used the credit that I got back towards. Also got a shout out A because I used the gift card that he got me for my birthday on this shoe. This shoe is also a sneaker that I don't think we ever got in store actually. I, I might have saw it a couple at a couple sneaker shows that we went to, but I don't think we ever actually got it in store to resell or buy. It's pretty rare out of its collaboration pack, if that kind of hints a little bit. But without further ado, let's go. Pretty excited, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty excited. And again, shout out to eBay, even though you guys send their stuff back. Here we are. Orange box with this little Ike. Ike on the side that kind of gives it a hint. This is a Nike Sakai waffle one of the first colorways that came out Also, this is my first time owning a Sakai ever. Actually, I know I owned a blazer But I ended up selling those because they were kind of uncomfortable. Here we are Boom Nike Sakai in the Barney purple green colorway. These are just absolutely beautiful i've been looking at this colorway specifically for a long 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 time you could ask jordan these are definitely like a great shoe for the spring and summertime these look good with the fit right now if i just do these on but these are beautiful i might just keep the white laces on maybe later down the line switch to black laces i'm not gonna lie i don't think i could ever see black laces on these and to anyone that owns a pair of sakai i do know the treading does get a little ruined pretty fast but you know what let me try these on just for the one time for the one time for the one time oh Oh, oh, oh. Stand up on the bench seat so you guys can see it. Damn. Super, super comfortable. They actually do give me a little bit of height too. I'm not even gonna lie. Boom. These are good money. These are 
These are good money. But yeah, I decided to grab this shoe instead because I've been eyeing this for like years. Ever since I started working at the other store, I've been looking at this shoe. Wasn't really feeling the red and yellow blue. Wasn't really feeling the green and yellow. Those are the dope colorways. But I feel like this one kind of speaks to me more just because of purple, the green, and of course the white laces. So I'm pretty excited to wear these. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll probably end up wearing them tomorrow or sometime next week. But I definitely want to make sure that these these are kept well because these are brand new i forgot to mention that bought these brand new it's hard to find a used pair in these specifically for some reason but it is funny because two days ago a store i think in florida had a used pair as soon as i bought these which is kind of crazy but nonetheless you know it's always good to have a brand new shoe that you could you know beat up yourself yeah i'm pretty excited hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing and let's see what the rest of the day holds so I used to sell everything free. Uh, probably sell. I got you check it all out. I got used stuff and new stuff. Got you. Check it all out. Whatever you want. Do you have like a price in mind for the whole lot, or you want to go shoe by shoe, or? Uh, new than used or something like that? Uh, I guess you like shoes. Got you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just in time for 420. Yeah. They're cool, but I'm not, I'm not gonna wear them. Yeah. It's that type of shoe. I have them in my collection too, but I just like never really see myself wearing yeah. them. I just wanted them. All this stuff with boxes new? Yeah. Gotcha. You could leave the volume on a little bit. I don't, I don't mind that. I thought that back of foams and sides would do much better. Yeah, they've, they've all tanked. Slides, foam runners. Yeah. Even 350s too. This one's still doing decent. Yeah, it's by a little bit. But yeah, I think this is like the worst colorway for uh, pricing, but yeah, I like it the best. Oh cool, yeah. yeah, I think it's the best color. They would have, Maybe. They, oh, never they just didn't do anything. Yeah. Never even got these in. I know they did the white with gum, black with gum. Yeah. Gray with gum. All right, cool. So you want to go shoe by shoe and see kind of where you're at price wise? Yeah. So I guess we want to start with the navy gums where you're at. Um, probably like a hundred. I feel like that's like what they're at currently probably be at like 70 just because they're at 100 yeah we can make a list and we can go back through if anything okay, okay the foam runner i know this one's kind of low but let me know what you're thinking there um i mean if i could get 100 on it i'd be happy yeah, sure. if not that's still fine damn they're lower than probably 80 yeah they're at 106 that's fine Got you. Powerful girls. I haven't checked the market in a minute, but let me see kind of what. Uh, I think they're like 260-ish, maybe. Yeah. What were you thinking on them? Um, if I can get 230, 220, 220, that's fine. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Top bids 211, but those are the 21 or the yeah 20, 2020, 21 ones, not the new. Got you. Really. But they, it's I the same they, skew, right? Yeah, they lumped yeah. them in. But the newer ones, probably the quality wasn't as good. Yeah. Uh, these are kind of low too. I don't know where you're at here. I'd assume we'd probably be at uh, 80. They're, yeah. at, they're at like 100. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, tally. Uh, 120. Let me check. That's fair for the tally. So I have a list of this stuff. Now we can talk about, I guess, the used. Um, prices in mind. Um, nah, not. <laughs> Not really. Nah, the, the Oreos are wore like once or twice. Got you. This one's super low, even brand new. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, I'll just take whatever. Got you. If you if you're offering for those, it doesn't even matter. I figure I just I'm not gonna wear them anymore. So. No, I hear that. Uh, let's see what we come out to with our total here, and see like what we could to maybe tack on. So we're at 70 plus 80 plus 220 plus 80 plus 120. We were at 570 total for the five. You don't really have anything in mind for them? Nah, nah. I, I mean, I wore them. It, it is what it is. Yeah, they're pretty. Uh, those, those I wore them. I got those for like 150 when it like back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Maybe like add on 100 for all of them. 
collectively make it 670. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Gotcha. So we'll be at 670. Uh, what's the best way? Do you have uh, a Zell, right? Uh, yeah, so That works. Gotcha. Yeah, I got it. All good? Yeah. Sorry. All good, man. Thank you. Appreciate you as always. No problem. Thank you, guys. Have a good weekend. You too. Quick little bio just went down. As you can see, we have some more beat up stuff. This being the best in the batch. But the other stuff is definitely very worn. Especially these fours. Got some scuffs. Super cooked. But, you know, for 100 for collectively, I think that's not terrible. Hopefully, we get a lot of the money back or the whole amount back with the Oreos. But we'll see. Then we have a lot of what you would call bricks. And I guess they all are kind of bricks. Other than the Powerpuff Girls. So that's a shoe that I feel like everyone wasn't selling because they all thought they were going to jump to like 350 400 bucks this pair right here is at like 250 right now size nine is it a shoe that's going to jump up it could definitely could this is a you know fan favorite of mine tally i feel like these also really sell well for us um, i feel like berwin just spoke about them the other day on the video and we got another pair in and it's right in time for 420 these are always cool if you're buying these out in the field make sure to look for the keychain which i felt like they were in here but you know they do include i think both keychain in each shoe stash pocket we got some good stuff that like you know this pair right here i remember selling these for 275 or 300 and now they're like 100 bucks so shouts to nike and shouts to everyone who who wants a nice pair of sbs and wear purple speaking of wants a nice pair if you're into foam runners you could buy these now for like 120 these are just like a football yeah sort of like spike them <laughs> like into the ground they just you know like a vortex football and then we got this pair of navy and gum sbs which i've never saw before in store that's probably a good thing I'm just not really a big fan of them, but if you are, you can get them for like one, one twenty. And that's about that. I'm trying to get some content in here today because I have a lot of work to do, and it's hard for me to get on film in store. But hopefully, we can make some transactions happen and give you guys some cool IRL content. All right, did you have a price amount for everything? You want to go shoe by shoe? Yeah. Kind of what we're gonna do is I want to get off this trade first. So I want some trade, and then gotcha. I want some cash. So I want some trade. Oh, so what was the shoe that you were looking at that Red, you want to trade for? Red 4, sir. Which one? Red 4. 2019 pair. Oh, ten, the ten yes. and a half. Got you, got you, got you. Even trade swap for these two. Huh. What do you value these two at? Um, however you want to do it. I mean, the, the red is only at 530. So however you want to swing it. Huh. So what do you... Um, I mean, I, 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 bread, I, I, bread is at 530. What do you mean by that? No, I'm saying that's what that's what it's going for 530, but you have it at six something. So, where um, do you see it 530 on StockX before all the fees and stuff? Well, we don't, I'm in Jersey, so with the fees, it's like 560. 560 okay, something. we don't pay taxes in Jersey, so got you, got you. It's 565, and that's okay. if you were to just buy them, got you. So, you're I mean, trading, so it's got to be at least 280 between both of them. 280 each, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, that's got to be at least 560 between both of them. Hmm possible if these are like super brand new but if you look at the insole they're just like i'm not in brand i'm having them i got them off of ebay like years ago i haven't even touched them all i did was lace them i haven't even touched them i mean we've been through this a bunch no, of I times you. with I your stuff you, you come in you tell us one thing and we look at it so you're saying that those look worn i mean look at the insole there's just like a bunch of stuff on it you know what i'm saying like i, I can't uh you know i mean we can look at prices i'm just going off mm -hmm. what i see yeah no don't worry about it i mean we mm -hmm. can get to that let me just on GOAT, they're 596. Yeah, but we don't go, y'all don't go by GOAT though. I go by whatever I want to go by. Okay, no, no right? Because it's my business, so I, I can no go by GOAT, StockX, eBay, I can go by Grill, I can go by this, I can go by that. At the end of the day, it's a trade, so yeah. it's like we can't compare a price of what you can buy it for right away to a trade. So we can negotiate and see where we can come to, um, but these are the 2019s if you want to check those out. Okay. And the other stuff you wanted to sell? I wanted to do like, yeah. Um, gotcha. Correct. The cash on. I mean, how, yeah. So let's see what's up. These I know we can't do 280 on because they've come down quite a bit and we've been selling them for 283. So um, we could see roughly where we can credit you at. And then the other stuff you wanted to sell, do you have prices in mind you want to go shoot by shoot? Oh, there? yeah. Yeah. Let's start with the stuff with boxes, right. just because the used stuff I got you here with no box might be a little more difficult for us. What is here? I'm looking at the 120. 120. And these are all new? Yeah, all new. Yeah. Except this one here, I was, I literally tried them on and that never worked. Gotcha. Yeah, these are low, man. Yeah. I would be at like 70 bucks. Can you do it? Can you do 80? I couldn't. 
I'd have to be at 70. I'm just not really Alright, take it on. Alright, okay, go ahead. Yeah, really. Let's go with these. Forces, it, anything in mind here? Uh, I wanted, uh, I don't know, one like 70 bucks, 80 or 70 bucks. Probably be at 50 on these. Oh, and the other. Hey, hey, guys. Gotcha. Alright, can you do it? Yeah, it'll just go to, uh, use the Yeah, still. and, uh, the fives. Um, 220? I couldn't do 220, they just... You said these are new? Yeah, well, I mean, literally, uh, we tried them on, they just sit in the fucking, in the back. Yeah, I don't think they have pass as new. I mean, they don't even have the original, uh... Yeah, yeah, no, I think I got you, I got you. Um... Yeah. Like 70. 70? Yeah. Can't do 100? I don't think I could. I think we have a pair up there now used for like 150 and it's just like not getting any. 80? Bites. Probably 70 on these. Um, Air Max 90s. Raiders. Price amount of these guys. Um, 70 bucks. I think we might be off on these. I could look them up, but as much as I love the 90s, I don't know if these are. Uh, Really hit nowadays. Damn, people do have these on stock at super high new, but I don't know, man. This is uh, how much you say, seventy? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I might just pass on these. We can maybe come back to them and see, but I'll be super low. It might be worth keeping them. Nah, ain't worth keeping. How much you want? Forty, fifty, like twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Pretty used. Uh, I could check pops. I mean, I don't know what you want. No, I don't got bought it up for years ago. I don't know, 20 bucks maybe. I don't think so. But let's. You just put them all on the table with the with the bag maybe. Oh, okay, okay. You know, I feel like they're all gonna be similar. I don't know what you're asking on all these. Five, seven, four. Something new. Well, I bought extra laces to put on there as well. These are brand new. These are brown, completely new. And these are all the ones. Got you. So where are you at for the whole lot? Or did you want to go shoe by Yeah, because I don't know if you did with, like, for example, you, uh, these are brand new. Um, okay. So whatever you want to about, I'm going to try you. How you doing? So something like this, wh what do you value these at? Um, 90 80 it's like you have a lot of good stuff that i like but i feel like you no know, that's why i want that's why i want to talk to you because i knew nobody else they tell me to you know what i mean that's why no I just yeah it's just but you know just judging off like the stuff we bought last time like the air force is just like the shit don't really sell man gotcha. it's just like very uh well like i said as long as i can get some type of um something for me i've had the thing I've, i literally got that shit in like 2011 they just yeah no, literally right. haven't even touched that's why all these issues came from 2011 2011 i feel that it's been sitting there it's been sitting there. yeah um probably like 30 bucks can't do 50 on those probably 30 bro like if i knew i can get like 150 or 100 like i just don't know a lot of this stuff is very like all these five seven fours, I feel like we're gonna be super low on. No, nah, I mean we can. I'm not. I, I, I mean, I cut my losses with your some of the stuff. Um, can I maybe right. just give you a number for like all the no box shoes? No box shoes. You know, maybe I'll just do that. That might be easier. So I feel like shoe by shoe. So what would you what would you do for for like for example for the five seven four? Like for this one, I know it's probably the more popular color out of the three. Well, what are you expecting? Yeah. No, no, I'm just wondering. No, I'm like I'm, 50, 50, 60, 50 bucks. Uh, probably 20 each. 20 each? I so I was trying to just kind of get a number for all of them together, just kind of see, like, what... I know all these other Air Forces are pretty, like, uh, heel drag, you know? I need, I need to get pairs we gotta do. I feel like you're looking at, like, 150 for all of the no-box stuff. Not including the Raiders or the MJ Pop, which probably isn't too much, but... Can you do three for everything? All the no-box stuff? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. Oh, it's not too yeah. much. This is just not inventory I'm trying to buy right gotcha, now. Bro. I got you. Yeah, um, it's like... Uh, can you do two? I don't think... I think I could do one for your DS. 
kind of don't even really want to do that. Just trying to give you an offer of what we could do. I mean, look at that. They got a huge mark on them. I mean, oh, gotcha, I'd be lucky to get 30 for those. Gotcha. And there's a couple good pairs. That's what's getting you the chunk of the cash. But. Can you do 170? 150. 150? All right. I could do. All right. Just fuck it. I could do 170 if you want to add these two. But I don't think you want to do that. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, take the 150 for these and then we'll, whatever you want to gotcha. add. Gotcha. So you want to trade for the bread? Yeah, so and have. Yes, gotcha. absolutely. But I want to get as close as two. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to see what I can do because I don't think I can do straight up. These I was at 50 on. These I was at 70 on. 50 for these, 70. Got you. Okay. These I think I was at 50 on. The fives. No, you said 150. You know, you said 150. 150? I don't think I said 150. That's impossible. No, I said you said more than 50. How much did I say? Um, it's possible. I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe 70. Maybe. I don't know if I said that. We didn't say. Did we say a yard? No. We say no, a yard. No, 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 no. You 80. So, with, uh, well, I'm trying to figure out a, a got, trade gotcha, for these. Got, yeah, gotcha, so gotcha. I'd be at probably these four for those. Those four? Yeah. Oh, shit, brother. Yeah. So what would you, what would you, what would you, what would you at these at? So 480 total for both. This is a $600 shoe. I mean, you can buy them on StockX after fees for 565 if you just bought them, but. You know, I'm not paying. I'm not spending any more money on no, it. No, I shit. They're spending other yeah. sneakers. <laughs> That's can't. why I was trying to make it I've make lost, sense. I've lost way too much. I'm done. If I can't trade, I got to trade. I got too much shit to be spending cash. So that's why, like, I was trying to make it make sense for you. Right. Um, um, can you pay off StockX on this? This isn't passing StockX. Boxes damaged. Um, and then if you just like really look at them. One shoe. That's crazy. No, I get it. I'm just, you know. This whole insole needs a whole like lint removal. Oh shit! Yeah, that's crazy. I literally tried them on and that was it. I yeah, I mean sometimes I'll do it. You know, you got them dirty socks on. Unless I. <laughs> no, nah, not even. <laughs> I honestly don't even try them on with socks for that for that reason. When I try my shit on, to be honest with you. Damn, you yeah, you raw dog. Yeah, I mean my feet don't stink. I'm good. Oh, my shit's straight, baby. <laughs> my shit's straight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I should do. Yeah, we good, brother. Sure. It's good you didn't tell me that before yeah, I made you these I'm, offers. I'm, imagine all, I'm, imagine all these pre-owned shit you be getting, bro. Imagine what the shit they be doing in their kicks. <laughs> See, like, look at that. Yeah, all right, two forty for. So you're at two forty or four eighty. Two forty piece, four eighty. So these, these, these right here, right? You said, right? Yeah, oh. that would be the that would be the straight swap if you want to do that. All right. Yeah, and then, and then we do all your cash here. Um, um, so we were one fifty for the. Unboxed. Yep. Here, we did 100? No, 70. 150, so we got 220. Yep. And then, how much for the. Uh, I don't know, man. I would round it up with these two, 250. But I don't know if that's worth it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Gotcha. Uh, uh, so, we got two, I'm sorry, then 150. 250 total. 250 total for the. Yep. All right, cool. And then the breads, obviously. All right. Uh, if you don't mind, check them out and then let me just get the inventory number on these. Those, I can assure you, have not been tried on barefoot. <laughs> so so you'll, be the, you'll be the first one. <laughs> Alright, cool. I need to be here. You need a bag for those? Um, no, I'm straight guy. Got you. Straight. Um, what's the best way of payment? Uh, you mean Zale. Like Alright, brother. Peace. You already know. Appreciate it. Alright, guy. Till next time. See you soon. Bye. Take it easy, man. So that was quite the buyout that just went down. We got a lot of stuff on the counter that I usually wouldn't buy, but uh, you know, client comes in quite often, and we try to you know make offers of what we can make. Sometimes we learn, sometimes we don't learn. Like originally, when I was buying Air Forces off him, I thought I could pay a certain amount. Now I realize I can't pay that amount because they don't really sell. So uh, I paid what I could pay. One fifty for all this no box stuff. You're probably like, what the heck? And even I'm like, what the heck? But five seven four, some random stuff. Uh, this pair looks brand new. Some other stuff in there. We got these Beat nineties in there for like 20 bucks brand new for like 70 and yeah we got some other stuff here that i tried to work a deal on the 2019 brad force is what he came for traded these brand new which actually somewhat go for something if we can find the right buyer these white metallic fives which he said were brand new obviously probably tell they're not but uh you know happens things happen and then we go to the royals and the reimagined fours reimagined fours you guys have seen plenty of times but they've kind of dropped in value 
Then we got a nice pair of Royals right here. Arguably brand new. It's one of those things. I don't know. One of the shoes looks brand new. The other one looks definitely tried on to be determined, but I had to be at a price where, you know, it made sense. And it's crazy to see that these are going for a lot less than they were because that was definitely a grail shoe, especially in 2013. But then again, when they were re-released in 2017, it was still a grail shoe. But uh, hopefully we get some more content today. But hopefully I get this other video done because I, I do want to do that. Order of seven and we're about to, you know, close up soon. We redid the, um, the case, so there's a lot of cool stuff. We put a Brett 4 in there, some SB Highs in there. We put some Atmos P rods. I think that's it that we added. Maybe a Blacksmith 3 as well. They bought this stuff next door. Shout out to Nutty. Everything's used besides these. We didn't talk about these yet. I forgot the name of these. I do know these were made as designed by a young lady. Her name is Raisa. Raisa, I believe. Race is dunk. So these are dope. I do like the color of these. This purple is really fire. The blue on the inside is fire. This is dope. This is a nice touch here. So these are really dope to me. These are only going for like 150, 160 in certain sizes. Maybe a little bit more like 160, 170. But these are really, really fire. This is a dope shoe. This is a dope colorway. The nice gum bottom. Good leather. The white SB box. It's my first time actually seeing Ooh. that they come with. I didn't know they originally came with a uh, Twitch lace. So these are fire. Comes with the uh, purple plum lace and then the navy lace and then the inside. This here look go same thing on the side her logo i read about them but i kind of honestly kind of forgot so like next time we're back on camera we'll talk about them again these are really fire really dope like i said inexpensive sb that's really fire in my pants some people think otherwise some people may think this is trash this is not all that but i think the attention to detail on this is fire that smiley face logo thing wherever it is that's used hair you can see it used on the, on the outside underneath the nike same thing on the inside underneath the nike if a used pair comes across oh damn i didn't even know that the other shoe interchangeable um check so i low-key might want these for a summertime gratitudes a literally just spoke about this earlier when we sold the brand new one use pair attitude size 11 good size decent condition so i expect these to find the shelf in like two weeks not even for buy the good stuff today eights. We don't really get this shoe used, so another shoe that I feel like is gonna fly within two weeks. My shoe that I still want, a beautiful, beautiful shoe. I love the Bugs Bunny strap. That 23 on the strap is always fire to me. It's kind of funny because I was talking to someone earlier about the Metallic 5s, and he said how he likes the 23 on the side of the Metallics better than the pair with just the Nike Air on it, so that's fire. Wait, let me guess what it's in that box. I'm gonna say it's a cherry. It is a 12. I'm gonna go cherry too. I didn't see the size. Okay. I didn't see the colorway, but I do know it's a 12. Oh! Cherry. Again, another good retro use that's going to fly off the shelf too. I expect all this stuff to fly out pretty quickly. And this is really good stuff, especially when you can get them used for a fraction of the price. So good shoe here. I don't go into too much detail about these. This is just a uh, mid 986. So that's about it today over here. We did a little bit of buying, not too much, but took a lot of pictures. We bought this off camera. It's like a... I call it a feather, a fake leather jacket, New York Jets. Pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie, if you're a Jets fan, for the winter time. That's perfect. This would be hard, I'm not gonna lie. It is newer vintage. I think it's also on um, collab with G3 merchandise. Yeah, G3. This is pretty dope, I've never seen this before until the gentleman brought it by. Like I just said, it looks like it runs big. It is a medium. It looks like it'll it's fit me. It's a hefty me. medium. Yeah, it looks like it'll fit me. So I'm probably gonna take pictures of this tomorrow, get it up on eBay. Now, I like how it's not buttoned, it's zippered. Ooh which is really fire if you're a jets fan out there definitely a piece you should have in the collection bought some other stuff today because again camera was next door we got these we literally just sold a pair earlier in the week i think tuesday we sold one so size 12 this is a pair i really do like um again i'm loving the 90s basketball and air max or trainer stuff so like new balances air max 95 all different type of air maxes and these joints right here these are fire the air more up temple is Orlando the Orlando magic colorway is so so fire i love the laker colorway definitely a shoe that i like i want in the fall time though it's definitely more of a fall time winter shoe for me um i want to get these around that time i saw these on camera from a the white metallics that's about it i thought there was one more yeah berwin did his, his review today on his barney um sakai waffles good pair good colorway first time seeing that colorway in stores in a while we only had one honestly and um it's not a colorway you really see too often and it's never really a shoe even since they released that you really saw i bought the green gustavos and it's like yeah so it's always a funny story because i remember i brought him here to a and like I have a habit or 
or at least I had a habit of buying like weirder stuff in a sense of just stuff that you don't really see every day and selling to A and A being like I don't know about it and be like yo just give it a chance give it a chance and I remember that shoe that was one of those shoes that's like I promised him like yo I promise you like you know people say all the time when they come in here like yo I promise you this is gonna sell but like I literally told A like yo I promise you these are gonna sell fast like watch like you don't see this one a lot or you don't see the shoe really like, I remember he t him telling me like yeah they sold pretty fast so it's always dope to relive those stories yeah I'll probably have an unboxing next week couple <laughs> oh I forgot about that one well Burr and I both have an unboxing yeah, we both have a couple I have more yeah um well Burr and I both got something from Nike and I accidentally bought something on GOAT so that's not fun can't cancel that order so so hopefully um, it comes on the day that we're recording so I can you know open it with you guys I haven't done an unboxing on camera in a while I haven't really bought sneakers in a while but lately I've been not going crazy that's about it really so do this one and done so we can get out of here and then come back tomorrow and have a good productive Saturday all right one and done catch you guys tomorrow also NBA basketball regular season ends Sunday Ooh. you know what that means right playoff season one of lebron kd oh lebron kd steph one of those three won't be in the playoffs that's crazy who do you think it won't be in the playoffs I'm gonna say KD. When it comes down to it, I would pass the ball to LeBron or, or Curry. I think that yeah, last would be KD. I think the the Warriors are gonna jump into the eighth spot, play the Suns, beat the Suns. Suns play Lakers. Lakers beat Suns. Suns go home. Wait a minute, aren't you technically a Suns fan? <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That, I, Yo, I, go I, Nuggets. Go. That's, that's crazy, but one and done. Catch you guys next week. Oh my god. Dude, what's up? We're back. Saturday, we have this batch of orders. Bunch of Jordan 3s. Nice to see that happen. Powder Blues, we just got in. Sport Blues, that's a pair that's DS damage box we've had for quite some time. If you remember that release, that was way back in the day. We got some Bread Reimagines. Nice to see those go. Some Reverse Kobe's next to some used Kyrie's next to some new Kyrie's. The CDG Foam Posits, which I feel like when they came out, they weren't going for as much money as they are now. Now they're kind of going crazy. We got some white metallics. Nice to see those go out because we just got them in. Supreme Air Forces and t-shirts. Awesome. Austin 316. Shouts to Lissandro for grabbing the Godzilla, the Batman, and another shirt we have to find. And that's about it for me. A lot to do today. Guys, anything about the orders or anything else? Shout out to Lissandro for the three t-shirts that he copped. CG foam posits. Not a pair we ever really get in. So really happy about that one, especially in the size. Another bread four going out. I think the ACG Hirachis. Those are fire. I really like that colorway. The bottle beige. I feel like we've been getting that shoe a lot lately. White metallic fives that we just got yesterday are already going out. The all black Supreme Air Forces. Those Air Forces usually do really well. Two Kyrie's and a couple threes going out. Powder blues. That's a shoe you don't really see every day. And that pair is really, really clean. Nothing too crazy. You know, the Supreme Air Forces, obviously, everyone knows, you know, the whole idea of the uh, black Air Forces. But that Supreme, a little Supreme box logo on the side. I thought that was always a nice touch. Supreme, you know, they kept, sometimes their, their sneaker collaborations, they, uh, they make pretty wild. But I think that was a nice, they kept the, the Air Force One classic. And that little Supreme box logo was really clean on the side. Powder Blues, that's a classic. Like Jordan said, you don't see that very often. It's a pair that, you know, it, it's a little loud, but I feel like people appreciate just kind of how rare it is. You don't see a lot of people with them. Uh, you don't see a lot of people selling clean pairs, so happy to see that one go as well. CDG Foams, a very unique shoe. Uh, retailed for the high, but uh, those do sell used pretty well. I guess that size sold. Uh, you don't see them very often, though. I think they're very clean. The white colorway and the black colorway. Don't really have to pick in between. Both really nice. Yeah, I'm um, going to start with the bread fours just because we've been getting a decent amount of them in recently and relisting a lot of sizes so it's great to see another one go out cg foams like everyone's been saying it's a rare unique shoe honestly i didn't expect the size to sell that fast glad that we could move it speaking about fast white metallics I believe i just pictured those yesterday and it's a great thing to see them going out powder blues crazy blue on that one salute to lisandro another valued customer of ours for uh, copping up the tees especially that godzilla one it still has a size tag on it and again shout out to everyone who's been buying off the ebay thanks to all y'all for the support let's see what happens today. What are you asking on these? For those, I don't really know what markets are right now. Uh -huh. um, Any of them are mine? Um, I was looking at maybe like around 280 or Okay. Just because I'm pretty sure markets have dropped on them. What about these guys? I know these are super Yeah, super, I know those are super feet. I was trying to like do it like a bundle thing, like two of them. Okay. Because like I now. Yeah, how much how much were you think for both? For both? I was gonna say if you could do like three eighty just to like
probably like 320 for both. So it's like 70 here and 250 here. How much for both time? Uh, 250 and 70 here. Alright. So, what more? How much more? You wanna do, um. Uh, 140. 140? Yeah. Uh, that's fine. Alright. 140 is cool. Uh, you have Zelle, Apple Pay, Venmo, anything like that. Zelle. You got Zelle, alright, cool. Yeah. yeah, I got it. Got it? Alright, cool. Okay. Have a good weekend, bro. Thank you. What you want for this guy? 25? Yeah. Goes all the way down there. We got 42. I'll get to store credit. Or? I'm mainly looking for store credit. I don't know why, bro. What are you trying to get? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Something small, I don't know, like a Stussy beanie or Supreme beanie. Or Stussy beanie, thing. we don't have it. What's going on, man? We don't have no Stussy beanies. No. That's why I was like, let me wait for my boy. <laughs> Cause I don't know, I just yeah, thrifted these. Nah, no, I hear you, I hear you. I feel like this one's hard, oh, just by the color. That's Dipset era right there, yo. <laughs> you remember Dipset when they were wearing them big ass jackets? Of course I do, the Jeff Hamiltons. Yeah. What you asking on this guy? I don't know, not much. 30? 30? Yeah, What you asking on Vivas? Probably like 20. I thought I would look good for you or my boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like a dress on me. You're <laughs> 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 trying to look for that baggy fit. This is, this is, this be like a dress on me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole baggy is in right now though. It never went out. It's just trendy. That's good. It never went away though. Sure, man. We're going backwards in time. Hey man, everything from the past always comes back. Yeah, that's right. And you guys made the right choice with the new stores, man, for real. I had to, man. I had to. What you wanted on this guy? I don't know what you offer. Shit, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure this is work done. I don't know. Honestly, bro, I was thinking of be between um, you said like twenties on on these joints right here. Maybe maybe not this one. This one, twenty, twenty. The only ones I'm really worried about is just this, these two. Which one for those two? These two? Yeah. Like thirty each. Thirty each. Let's see. Like thirty each. Same as this one, these these guys, 20, 25, 30. They all got the five shoes on too. Gee, come on now. 30 for this might be tough just because a lot of times we just usually display shit like this. Yeah. Um, like we have them like literally all over the place. It's one of those, uh, what's it called, time castles though, you know what I'm saying? From like the, bla the uh, blast from the past or something? <laughs> a blast from the past. Uh, what are you asking for this stuff? It's not much. <laughs> A thrifter to another thrifter. Yeah, gosh, you gotcha. So, yeah. which ones are you specifically just not interested? Because I know these two, right? Those two, yeah. Nah? Because I know these shit ain't mine. There's no teens or nothing. Got gotcha. you. Alright, I'm gonna just give him. So, this guy, the shirt, probably like 25. Gotcha. This guy we probably wouldn't be interested in. No. This guy we might be interested in. Uh, the jerseys just depends on the price. A lot of this stuff is kind of low. Yeah. So like, what you want to see? What you were asking for? Mm -hmm. This stuff separately type shit. I want a thirty each on that, but I don't that much. Yeah, this. Right. If you want thirty, I would hold on to that. Um, just because we got a lot of that kind of stuff. This one, I feel like 30 might be a This is 25. What do you want for this? Okay, so 25, gotcha. 20, gotcha. 10, 25, 25. You like this? Kind of. Would you wear it? Possibly. <laughs> and this one, I'll do 20. Gotcha. And you're just looking for cash or store credit or? Both. 
So mostly store credit. Did you want the uh, starfishes? Yeah, I'm maybe interested in that. I'd probably be in the same ballpark, like roughly 50 cash, maybe a bit more store credit, depending on what you're interested in. Yeah. And this one? Um, you wanted store credit? I think so, yeah. You could do store credit. What, uh, with this guy, probably like 70. Store credit? Mm hmm Yeah, I was thinking, um, we could do something like that 70 75 depending on what you see i mean obviously we drop prices of our stuff anyway so it kind of mm -hmm. goes both ways mm -hmm. but um see what you find we could try to work something out obviously if you want those we could see what we could do on those call yeah. it 75 it's cool yeah i mean you guys can keep this you really want it <laughs> sure? yeah no keep it for the store though oh yeah yeah, you know we'll, definitely, yeah. we'll definitely find a place you can for promise it. me you put it up there then oh yeah, yeah you i mean keep it. You'll, you'll see it somewhere <laughs> you know kind of running out of space but we'll find a spot space is like a time capsule <laughs> you know yeah. they don't make stores like this no more nah, so it's all it. yeah we try to uh keep it a little different it's hard to you know it's modernize and black white and gray it's just whack yeah. you wouldn't take these for like at least five bucks what about the bag the, the bag? The jerseys? Not the bag, bro. Uh, the bag before? Oh, the bag? Probably not. You smoke? Uh, nah, nah, nah. No? But, uh, <laughs> I, I do see a lot of the Marlboro stuff. Yeah. But it, it's pretty cool. So if you wanted the starfish, it would be 45 feet old. 45 mm -hmm. old? Yeah, that's cool, bro. Cool. Damn, these. That's a summer shoe right there. That's like a good price. My size, too. My size, too, bro. <laughs> I remember looks just like 300. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. crazy. I think I'll just take it like this. Yeah, check them out. Um, do we get the inventory number? Yeah, I got it right here, actually. Did you go to MetLife today? No, I was going to, but it was very windy. with the CD and everything. Oh. Is it all for denim tears? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Travis Scott T. Okay. I got a pretty jersey. Uh, let's start off with the U stuff. Okay. See where you're at. Did you have it together or separately, like one by one? Uh, not to be honest, I didn't, I didn't, the, the ones I mainly look were these two and the lobster, that's what I, okay. I looked at. Um, what were, you, what were you thinking for the, um... Well, that's the thing, I want to see what we can do together, cash okay. and credit, because I want to leave with something. You want, you, well, you got ten and a half, so, and what are you Yeah, so ten and a half is going to start yeah. on this side, so and it's going to work this way over here. Cool. Can you check this out hey, a little John, guys, please? Yeah. How you guys doing? Hey, what's up, man? Check what out. Check these out real fast, please. Got the military fours. Oh, these are new? Yeah, they yeah. just dropped. Came early. <laughs> when did ours? When did you get I checked this morning. Mine didn't ship yet. <laughs> I like how it's out there. Yeah, they're so nice. I know. Just the wrong size. What else do you know? I kept them. I know I should have got them on my size. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> These are so, so hard. I know. I like how they're not white. I know. It's got the SB4 look, too. They probably feel like... Yeah, I think it's the same part. shape. They feel, they feel the same. What size is it? This is a nine. <laughs> <laughs> how much were you asking? Uh, like, 300. 
text A on this one because I know it's early, but I know you probably want them. And you're just looking to sell them? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Hey. Hey guys, yeah. Are you text? No. What do you want to pay on that? It's an early pair. Um, you want it three? That's like market. Yeah, I think I think three's a little tough. Okay. Probably uh, 270. Did you do like 280? High 270. I just feel like they're gonna drop dramatically yeah. to about that, but you know, for us to post them for three early might be worth it. But um, if you could get that, like put them on StockX yourself or Goat, yeah. might be worth it. Yeah, I know if fees is probably the same thing. Uh, I didn't check Goat, but. It's really up to you. Which is so nice. I know, if they weren't my set, if they were... You'll probably be able to get them, honestly. Like, just know that you got them that fast. Yeah, like, I know. I think... I just hit on the shock drop. Yeah, it's crazy. Shocked yeah like, it. everyone everyone probably hit on them, and everyone's going to have pairs next month when they drop, too. Yeah. Um, it's May 4th, right? I think. It, what day yeah. was it? 4th? Yeah, so... Yeah. Talking about, like, a little bit under a month now, so... All right, well, I think I'll, I'll do the 270. We'll do yeah. the 270? Okay. Uh, what's the best way again? Uh, whatever's easiest for you guys. The, I got it all. The Moselle, Apple Pay... Uh, I can do Zell. Zell. Okay. Yeah. What's the phone number? These shoes were the ones that I was going to be interested in. Um, so let me see what this is going for real fast. I was at 15 for this stuff. Including this? Yeah. Would you value these at? Because the ones that were, you said it was, it was these yeah, two, these two and, and these. This one I got. I was, I was waiting to make it spicy, a spicy coin flip on this one. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of coin flip? What were you, what were you thinking? What, what were you doing on this by itself? This one, I, I value this one at five. Five? Okay, yeah. so I was gonna do it. Let's do it free or retail and sign up. You go, uh, you go up. Wait, wait, wait. Retail, uh -huh. which was like, I think about 420, something like that. Okay. And, taking, and you go up from five. So what? If I'm going down, what, the 80, go up to 80, 580. So 580, 420. Well, let's make it, let's make it 4, 6. I lose 20 bucks if I, <laughs> I got a retail, so. <laughs> Where were you at these? I was at three, that's it. Okay. I thought you were going to have to do Three and 250. I'm going to need a little more for them personally. How much you want? This is almost at four already. Which one? The Red Thunder. 394, 390. Yeah, right, right. Right. You need a 325 at least. Like them? I really do. You want 325 too? Yeah. I want these. Yeah. What you say? We choose 50 there. 350? G, you know? Can you match any of these? Can you offer me three? Let's solve this one. Then that, but so what you want? Then? So you said? I was saying four or six. Whoa, big dog! Wait a minute. I was at five originally. Is every what's up with that? They got they got the sealed thing in yeah, it. Yeah. Sealed, yeah. I got another pair at home. That's right. So you said four or six? Yeah. The, these three the only ones I was like I didn't want. I was what I was looking for mostly was Haritos or the or the, the fours that you got on there. So you go by the ass for us. What um are we at agreements with the other stuff or no? Mm -hmm. well, this is the one that he like, gave me a number. He told me fifteen. Gotcha. For everything here, then he said, "Can we do go up twenty five here and go up fifty here?" Because I told him I went last week. I went to so gotcha. You know, it's closer to me. So uh -huh. um, they give they offered me three hundred straight up, and then um. This one they are from earlier, but I'm willing to leave it at 325. I mean, I'd possibly be interested in some type of crazy coin flip for these. Um, it just kind of depends on like where we're at. Yeah, that's the what other I'm saying. Stuff. Like these were retail, what, what 60? Yeah. yeah. Let's do 160. And you, what, what, where are you at? Uh, I think six and a half to 127. Hello? 130. So under retail? They're, they're going for retail. The GS sizes are. No. Yeah. We do like say, what was it? Was retail again? One, 160. How you doing? The 160. How you doing? 160, 200. Yeah, coin flip. How's it going? Yeah, but they're going for reaches. I wouldn't be able to do 160. That's the thing. I'm not trying to lose them. Because if I'm going to lose on this, then I'm going to want a little more. No, no. So, you get me? Maybe 275 here. Because I'll work with you on these two. 
When you do 275 here, cause you said 325 you want to hit, right? Yeah, And then you just when you said three, we do 275 here. If we do, you get me? If we if we work on the four flips on these, yeah. What, what kind of equipment? I was gonna say, let's do retail, or you, or the, what is it, one sixty, two hundred, coin flip. Cause just cause those like, even paying one sixty is not that much. Let's do one fifty, two hundred. There you go. I'm going, I'm going coin flips on this one. Let's do coin flips one each. If you win one, I win one. I would just uh, pay the retails each on these instead of like, cause then I mean. We can we can do a coin flip, but it would have to go down from retail quite so a I'm bit. So I say one fifty, I go down ten. Yeah, but then that's that's not worth it really. Um, what, what, these are new? No, nah, those. No, are those are used. used. That's the only. Did we get those pile. yet? Ah, this is in the um the pile. So he gave me fifteen. That's his number. Got you, got you. Unless you come up with a number, I just all right, cool. I'm out. No, I mean I'm cool with the flip here. I'm just trying to see where yeah. you're at over there. Well, all right. So we'll, we'll, what's the number here without this? So no, um, I uh, seventy. Um, okay, and we, we lock, um, lock the coin flip in here. Uh, I told you uh, fifteen, right? Uh, yeah, ninety. 15. So, so basically a so, thousand. So yeah, so I was gonna say without these, yep. right now it's a thousand. So we but we went up to. The well, I'm I'm trying to see because we're kind of like bouncing. Like along this one, we locked in the coin. No, no, no. Yeah, I know, but like we're going from here, 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 yeah. and back here. So right, I'm, so I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out what what's going on. So give me a number right now, just for this. And that was a thousand. Without a coin flip. That was a thousand. Thousand? This exactly. is with the shirt? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so not this, right? Not this stuff? No. Nah, okay. This stuff, no. Okay. Both this, this, kind of lower this. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I just, I just redid it. Yeah, it's a thousand here. Um, okay. Store credit will obviously be more. We drop prices too and stuff, so it's going to work. It's going to yeah, work. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I saw the bubbles. Which one? Pretty much pretty much yeah, okay, so it's not much more. But I want to try them out because I know SB is running a little tight. What so color was that one? That was the, the bubbles, the blue ones. All right, let me grab that for you. And then we go here 10 and 9 if you love Um, me. Yeah, with those, I mean. Yeah, you just want me to go around? Right? I yeah. was hoping um, for these. I think these two. Um, uh, 120. Well, I feel like you're looking for like high tier stuff. Yeah, nothing crazy. You get me? Just if I'm not. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna actually nine he's just sitting there. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I forgot to bring. I got a 13 at home of this too. Are you, are you next time, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah, take yeah. it. Those P rods. Have you uh, tried to sell them at all? Ten. Um, I, 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 you know what? Um, I, think, I like, have really pushed on him, but I, 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 that was like good at. Next come step. back at yeah. this point if you weren't interested in I those things, you know? I was like, for those prices, yeah. I would definitely try eBay. Yeah, yeah. Um, these yeah, things around seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. You don't got the pop-up for you. That's good. So we can make you offers, but if you haven't tried that, I would try it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Slacks? Yeah, I think he's right. Same with these two. I don't know if you tried. Yeah. Got you. It might be worth it. Yep, yep. Yep. Um, yeah, yeah. So let me just see what yeah, we can do with those. Uh, with these, you said uh, the, you 50 said and 60. 50 and 60. Yeah. Okay. Right. And those you want to be interested, right? Just the no, I would be interested. Yeah, yeah. I just think you'd be at like 40, try bucks, the most 40 bucks for those. Like gotcha, gotcha. Uh, but again, if you yep. haven't tried yep. eBay, yep. you put those up for like 100 yep. maybe, yeah, yeah, 120. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do think it's possible. Yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. So, Sounds good. Yeah. So these, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be right back for those. I wanna put these in the car. I got, yeah, I got, take your time. I got a few more to see if you guys. Yeah. Can be take your time. Oh, so there's a uh, trade in the mix. Yeah, yeah, I was positive. Yeah. So these, I told him the bubbles. Hmm. Now I might have a brand new one. Kind of have possibly. I'll just have to mm. Perfect. These ten and a half. Years. How the eleven feel? Yeah, if you have the ten and a half. Ten and a half. Yeah, yeah, let me check and see if we have ten and a half for oh, you. So. <laughs> Says we have one in inventory. You're not interested in this? Uh, and this one? Probably not this. There's a shirt. The demo tees with offset. This I don't know much about. What are you looking for? For I mean, I don't know what you do. Yeah. How much are you adding? I don't have enough for the money. Okay, that is a two and a half. Probably five. And if you use this one? Two seventy-five? You can leave it at. Huh? Are you leaving it in there? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Alright, so five. Alright, basically, alright, cool. Let's just see. Cause 
Maybe you take this one and the bubbles. The bubbles? Let's just see. Hey, let me know what we can do on the boat. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Sort of I thought you said Can I try these on just to see? Because I know these ones a little tight. What can you do on these? Probably like 925. On these? For both, my fault, oh. for both. Huh. So like 425 and 5. 425? Yeah. For this, whatever. Actually, call it 9. Call it 4. He said 380. Oh, he said, oh, said uh, my fault. I didn't know he gave you a price. No, I was just saying because I told him I might do trace. So oh, I so then yeah, yeah. Then yeah, yeah. I didn't know he gave you a price. No, yeah, my he fault. just said that, like, if we do it. Because I asked him, I told him I'm doing looking for something for a trade. I asked him for the size. Okay, so yeah, so, so uh, uh, 880. Alright, let's come over this. I'm like. I'm definitely taking one. Take both. But I was take both. Take we got both. more than enough to take both. Yeah, so, so what can we do here then? You tell me now. You, you, you were at one, right? You, you see, you, you see what you want now. You, yeah. you see, you see, you see, see You see, at one. So, but uh, we was to the three and the twenty-five. The seventy-five. So one seventy-five. So you want eleven? Uh, you want ten seventy-five. Oh no, because you're doing 130 on these. That's that's the thing. Well, well tell me what you to, want. I'm not well, trying to me, lose on that. Give me, just, I give said, me give retail me. at least. Like he said, he'll give, he'll pay the retail then. So you're looking for 11 then? So let me see. On your stuff as a bundle. Um, uh, let me let me just yeah, take your turn out. Thanks. I think it was these. Cause yeah, because you use ten more. Use ten more. Yeah, because he said retail. You'll pay the retail. Use saying. ten more hair, 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 and hair. That was the extra fifty-five. That's where it comes from. Just twenty-five and then ten. So we basically 10. just one hundred fifty-five. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Or fifty-five off. Yeah. I, I did. Yeah. Everything stayed well. This stayed the same. I did my fifty, hundred, two seventy-five. That's cool. Three twenty-five. That's what you asked for. Let me show you next. Yeah. Hold on. Give me the, give me my number and I'll take both. I mean, it's, oh, it's an odd number. So 25? Yeah, I said it's an odd number, but I'll meet you at level 25. What's up with this with Harrison? This denim tears. No, I know. Yeah. How much does this go for? I don't know if it's showing his weight, but I don't know if it's showing. But I'm going to work with if you want to throw it cheap for credit. What is it, like a shirt? Yeah, it's a shirt with the CD and everything. It's a denim tears also. Oh, gotcha. I'll look it up. Yeah. yeah. So, as you see for last year, it was 238, but like, high speed's 254. So 40. So Call that shit. Huh? 40. I do 40. I stayed at my number, uh, which was, was one, uh, 155 plus the 40. That's what I got so far. I was at 1125, and then uh, this one. Yeah. You said 40. You were at 1125, I was at 1155. Yeah, yeah, but I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, saying, like, exactly yeah, where we're at. Yeah, yeah. And then. Um, yeah, basically that's he asked number. about this, and then you said okay. to call it forty. Now, yeah. then I asked that right before you put money. I said call it level fifty. Right. Oh, so basically, you know, yeah, yeah, my yeah. number. And let's see what he says. All right. What is, what is this? Forty for forty for this? Yeah, that's so it's been to that's three so it's so like seventy. So this is just a T-shirt with the CD yeah. and everything. So, uh, and then what? And then what else happened? And then this, I need a price on this one. This one I think we'll pass on. Sure. Doesn't sound terrible. So I was at eleven fifty with and that. And then this is my number I was at with that. Okay. So we're not too far. Basically just this off. We're not too far, but there, this is a pretty yeah, this flip. No, but this, we, yeah, this one but this yeah, this the flip is locked in already. Oh uh, no, I understand. And then basically what I'm doing is credit for this and uh, is and the uh, part well, of You're doing the new one, right? No, 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 this one. Oh you want the used yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. No box, used one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. And the part of you want to hold on to this? Actually, this is not up. Take it. I'm not 20 bucks? No, no, no. I don't think it's real. No? No, I don't think so. It's cool, but. Uh, this is no box. Yeah. Do you want to see the other one first? Um, Like the right foot? Oh, because you had said 800 for the new one, right? For this one? Yeah, so I thought you was getting the new one. Okay, for 800. Okay. So this I'll one do I was in like the 100. It was 880 with the new ones. So it was 380 and it was 5. Yeah. Um, where were you on? In the remaining. Those are the French ones. Oh, so you wanted to keep the 9 or 9? No. 270. Um, I'm taking the new one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These two offer this. What did you guys do? And then you still have this, uh, wherever, yeah, we, wherever the flip is. We'll get added on top of that. There's me in the middle between your number and my number. And what's that? Which, which we're only for 40 bucks, so 20, 20 up, 20 minus, uh, 20 coins. Yeah. So. 
So 75. 75. I would love to be at. And I'm still taking both of them. No, I feel you. I would love to be at 1150. I don't want to take them. Uh, no, I feel you, but like, yeah, you know, I'm still work, work with me. Work with me, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm working with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm coming up on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah, you know, 1150. Yeah, back in. So, these are 1850. A while ago. Yeah. It's still the same thing. It's still the same. So, if we met in the middle, what would that get these at? Yeah, uh, 20 less, basically. So basically, well, I'll tell you five, so like uh, 480 basically. And that's the only shoe that would adjust technically? It's only a $20 difference? Technically, yeah. Okay, so we can do that. So 475? Is that it? I mm -hmm. was well, looking at my size. What would you do on these? Just so I can go home with these. These are getting twice. 20? I give me a credit because I saw a size for my daughter over there, so I saw something over there. I'll see. Cash. I just, I just flung it. Oh. How much? Oh, I didn't, I didn't check the other oh. pair. Is this stuff we passed on. Yeah. I know these. The highs are like super yeah, low. These, I mean, that's what I'm saying. These are pretty, pretty cooked too. They're that's used. What? Yeah, these are ones because they're too tight on me. Yeah. That's so why I couldn't wear them. It's too way too tight. Uh, so I, didn't Probably, say, like, I mean, I would assume these go for like what, seventy to hundred new. But if you want to use these three as credit yeah, for something for your yeah, daughter, daughter yeah, that's yeah. fine. And we'll just see if you can find something first. Yeah, extra size two C or seven. Seventy five for the three. For three? Yeah, these are, these are cup. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Sell that all for us. Yeah. So twenty five days. Have a good one. Yeah. See you soon. I mean, do you want to see the dunk? I mean, yeah. sixty seventy five. So if you had that, so is uh, the three ninety. Basically, what I'm using for your left. It was 290. But you said you wanted to use that? Yeah, yeah, tour. basically. Because it's almost going to have so. Uh, Thanks. How's it going, bro? Can you just add it there for 50? 03. Say again. Add it cash there for 50? 03. Still 11. Yeah, yeah. If you want to do that, you Three forty. Make it three fifty. You just said fifty though. Three fifty make it even. Come on. Let me see if we win the flip first. Army feels like. But don't take it both. If we do do that, and then still we're gonna win the flip. That's fine. Exactly. But what's gonna change it? Or we didn't we didn't add the flip. No, the flip is we didn't do no number yet. Flip is on the side. And the flip is locked in already. So do we need that ten dollar karma for the hundred dollar win? Question is, I don't know. What's the what's the number for the flip? You said four six. You said four six. Four six. If I lose, I'm losing twenty dollars. I'm make, trying to make it back there. <laughs> if I win. So basically, if we lose the flip, we're gonna owe nine fifty. If we win the flip, we're gonna owe six fifty. That's if we do your fifty dollar three fifty yeah. instead of the three forty. <laughs> unless you want, unless. I'll hold this and you, you get a Jarritos in. That's what I'm just looking for mainly. You hit me up, I'll bring it in, straight up. I mean, the deal is enticing. The flip is enticing. It's Saturday. I've had a long, I've had a long annoying morning. This would be a nice way to win. Um, or this would be a nice way to lose and just get more pissed off. <laughs> um, you take the sale though. Yeah. But I'll, I'll take the $10 karma and hope that it helps us out. And then we'll flip. Don't think too hard. Heads or tails. Tails. Heads! Oh my god. Woo! That was a tough, uh, a tough call. Ten dollar karma, it's important. Seven fifty. fifty. Um, Zell, cash? Uh, Zell, please. Gotcha. I wanted, um, one fifty for those. Okay, those is good. Pay out. Most everything's paid. 150, 140. Yeah, yeah, yep. the box is coming? Yeah, yep. Come in the same box. Because when I saw this box, I thought this was the gold. Yeah, this is the gold. I said the same thing. It's in the same box. Probably like 
you never switch shoes <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> and like you wouldn't even wear these. Yeah. Something like I think they, I mean I think those these are done better. better. Yeah. Than those. Stock, so one of these? Yep. Nice, nice. Let's see. Did you get one from us? Uh -huh. So, would you say the gratitudes? Uh, if I could get retail, but 200 lowest. That's too cool. Brett Forrest? Uh, 260. 260. Jubilees? Jubilees, I think I wanted 280. Um, I think this is the gold, uh, the gold Force. Yeah, if I could get two for both. Two for both. Let's see what they're at. Um, the craft, uh, 150. That's a pay out. The SBs, uh, those 150. And you said a buck, right? Yeah, a buck for those. Okay, so I came up to. I was at 1420. That's cool. With my numbers. Cool. I was at 14, 1410. Um, you said 1410. Yeah, well, 14. Well, I really okay. wanted 15. I was my lowest was like 14. Man. Yeah, I was thinking, I feel like <laughs> some of the I came down with some of the numbers. Like, I do know, like, I did two here. Yeah, that's cool. I had did, uh, you said 280. I think you said here, I think I ran that at 260. That's cool. You was at 260 here. I think I ran that at 240. That's cool. Um, I think you said like two, two here. I was at like 170 each just because, like, the at the two. Um, I ran the bug here. I think the SBs I was at a buck thirty, and then I ran the one fifty on the craft, which is, is fourteen twenty. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Zell, right? Yeah, I want to see. Uh, let me see if I got this. Uh, yeah, let me know. Yeah. Would you see online? Do you want to wait and try the eleven half eleven two? Just to see. Nah, this is cool. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. Uh, I mean, he, he found it. Like we have to, regardless, we have to put up on eBay. If, like even if you don't take it. Mm -hmm. Um, but this is cool. Eleven and a half fit. Oh, I bet. Um, if it's a little moments. Um, so eleven and a half or probably like five fifty. Five fifty. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. We were at fourteen twenty before, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Mm -hmm. It says sixty on this. Five fifty eight ten. Um, what's the phone number? 347. What's going on guys? It's currently 404. It's been a long Saturday. As you can see, all those shoes by Jordan and me. Shout out to everyone who's been pulling up. I worked out a couple trades, a couple buys, sold a couple things. So it's been a pretty productive Saturday. Just show you guys what we got. Start with Oh, see what this person has to say. Top shelf. Good afternoon. Do you guys still go and buy design sneakers? No, we don't. Okay, thank you. Over here, we have Pure Money 4, size 8. Extremely clean condition. Silver 4s. I thought those are the metallic gold 4s because they come in the same box, but I think these are called Sulfur 4s, if not mistaken. Mid Sulfur? Vivid. Vivid Sulfur. Vivid Sulfur 4s. Nice little yellow over there. We did get a 4 that I'll talk about in a quick second that definitely needs to be looked at. Got two 4s over there. Lost and found used another Jordan one used bread toe brand new no box another pair of the mocha traps easy slides foam runners just finished a trade over here then do you guys remember this era of adidas the cream ultra boost these are a nostalgic item if I, if I may say so myself super comfortable these definitely broke the internet kind of started wearing these the prices went up i still remember uh, nmd ultra boost craze and then eventually became easy so pretty cool here then over here we have have fifth a6 sa uh, salmon 
Mementos. I think that's what they're called. GS Bread Force. Another GS Bread Four. Gratitude. Use the Mocha Trav Air Max One. If you guys don't know, the Special Box Orange Lobster. Just bought that this morning. And then over here, we have a pretty cool pair of fives. Lucky Green Fives. This is a women's sizing shoe. Still a cool colorway nonetheless. Got the 23 on the side. Green and black hits all around. Don't know if I'm really messing with this uh, lace lock though. And last but definitely not least, there was a shock drop on this shoe yesterday. And if you guys can't tell by the box already, boom! The Jordan 4 Military. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, first of all, shout out to the, the guy who brought him in. They shock dropped maybe like a couple of days ago and he already got his pair, which is pretty crazy. Me and Jordan hit. We weren't expecting them to come in within this week. And just a quick comparison, we got the 2012 Military 4 next to the 2024 Military 4. And right off rip, you could definitely see the difference in whites, difference in blues. The hues are different. This one has more of a grayish tint. This one is definitely like cocaina white. You could also tell that that one kind of takes more of an 89 cut just because of what Jordan brand is doing and how they're changing up the Jordan 4s. This one, you know, is your classic Jordan 4 from 2010 all the way to 2019. These are how the Jordan 4s look. Don't hate them. I really enjoy looking at these. Definitely going to be a cop for sure. We'll probably get more in depth in talking about the differences about them later, but this is just a quick glimpse on what it looks like as far as differences right now. And even the back tabs, like your air on this side, jump man, that side, still flip Air Jordans on the tongues. And you can see the difference in blues even more like this. This one is more of like, I guess what Nike's calling industrial blue. This one's more of a writer blue. Not gonna lie, this might top the bread four like Jordan said, as far as the uh, reimagined set. I just really enjoy looking at these. I feel like you could beat these up and they won't look terrible. And also, this is like the closest thing that reminds me of an SB4 right now. And they are probably that comfortable. So congrats to all y'all that hit. Pretty sure the actual release is May 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys plan on getting them, that day's definitely the day. And they'll probably be easy to get. We'll see they're saying it's produced over a million pairs i don't know how true that is just stating what i saw on instagram and really glad that jordan brand brought this colorway back and again it comes with your standard jordan 4 box with the cement all over so yeah in the comments let us know which one is your favorite we'll probably talk more about it later with the rest of the guys and i hope you guys are enjoying the video two hours left in the shop till we officially close for the weekend catch you on the next clip youtube we're back been quite the hectic day but something cool happened today we got an early release pair one that a lot of people are into Anticipating. It already sold, so we want to at least film some content about it real quick and show you guys a little comparison. Here we have a pair from 2012. As you can see, this one is used, but we will check it out anyways. It's a size eight and a half, the military blue, and we have an OG receipt here. It's kind of faded. Let's see what day these released, if I could even see. It looks like June 10th, 2012. These were purchased in California at Nike. But anyways, military blue four. It's one of those shoes that, if you remember, when they came out, they didn't really sell out they kind of sat it was an easy double up it was one of those shoes that people kind of uh, didn't really look at as a crazy grail the grails kind of were more like the white cement spread fours the stuff that was a little harder to acquire but this was one of the shoes that I remember personally uh, people skateboarded in they're a lot easier to get if you had the money back then and as time went on and you didn't see them as often obviously they kind of became that grail status pair to a lot of people I know I'm at the age where when they originally came out I didn't really have the money to to buy them so a lot of people around roughly my age group probably are excited to be able to buy one or two pairs of these to have in the collection now that uh, we're older and, and have uh, big boy jobs and stuff like that definitely something nice enough of that let's talk about the pair that we got in hand the air jordan 4 off-white slash military blue they've been calling it industrial blue i believe from what i've been looking at in the box is military blue so that's interesting to me maybe this pair is foo-foo i don't know just kidding guys and as you can see if you zoom in on the size tag we're back with that spaced out number vibe going on there that seems to be something new that nike is doing box looks pretty much the same as the old box you could say the gray is a little different maybe the same obviously this says jordan air because of the jordan on the back this says nike air because of the nike on the back then we go to the sneakers and i could say that in person the first thing that to me pops out difference wise it doesn't look white to me it kind of looks like off-white vanilla i guess you can say literally next to each other i see why i thought that these literally look kind of pre-aged already the white is more of 
like a yellowish vanilla tint to it obviously these are used but you can still see the white differences there this white actually looks like it has a, a blue hint to it which kind of uh dulls it out a bit yeah they're actually crazy to see next to each other i'm uh kind of speechless right now just looking at the differences and how different the blue actually is how kind of more vibrant it is here and how kind of like dull and grayish it is here um i don't hate this new release i think it's very nice i think they look again like they're meant to be worn and beat up quality wise you know you know i feel like beggars can't be choosers like i love when they drop stuff like this so as long as it's wearable i'm gonna be happy with the quality i do think these like uh widow's peaks are a little odd because back in the day a lot of shoes that had widow's peaks were uh, considered fakes that was like always a telltale sign it's nice to have that uh, og nike hang tag there they smell nice this is a little more like rubbery it still bends the same as this this one i feel like would hurts the ankle a little more than this one would for sure um, obviously the back tab everyone loves the nike air i love both nike air and jumpman air looking at the tongues definitely see the difference in the blue jumpman for sure as well as the padding how thin this is how cozy that is a lot going on there the cushioning yeah i'm definitely excited though it seems like the prices are kind of going to go down and uh they should be pretty easy for everybody to get so i'm anticipating this release i actually oh i hit on them actually so they didn't ship yet but i did hit on 11 and a half so i'm waiting for those to come in if you're out there trying to get these hopefully you can get them for retail or not too much over retail hopefully you enjoyed this little uh two cents on the differences and the side-by-side -side comparison and stuff like that but um which one do you like more which one do i like more for what this shoe is and the memories that it has like i can't say i i like this one better i guess mm -hmm. but then again like uh like I, I i had these growing up like i got rid of them one thing i did hate about these is like this this does crack mm. like you wear these they start to crack especially on the inside but i do think the wearability of these is probably going to be a lot better they're probably going to last longer i do think that like i said they have that like tint to them that already looks like they're pre like aged a little bit which kind of entices me to say hey like i can beat these up for weeks and they're still going to look awesome at least the shoes that i wear i like to like get a lot of wear out of them and i think this is one of those shoes that's just going to look really good just like beat up like black cement threes white cement fours that type of thing i guess i would say I, I like the older one it's a little more vibrant it's like this one looks good it looks like og cut da 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 da, da. but a part of me is getting like fake vibes from it like a part of me mm. is, is like telling saying that it just looks like a fake shoe like when i was in high school this was the real one and this is like what the fake one looked like a little oh, bit yeah. i don't know why that is maybe because it's kind of like a fatter look to it it's it's more puffy it has these fat widow's peaks right there that are just like i feel like shouldn't be there but the nike air is awesome to see for sure the blue is a little dull though it's definitely like a little it's a little dull man it's it's like a marina blue some ways you look at it it kind of even looks like like navy blue like a dark midnight but a lot of people just care about that right if you got that nike air on the back like it is what it is i'm glad that everyone like it's it's always nice when they come out with shoes that everyone is going to have an opportunity to get like that's always exciting for me like today they did a bunch of kobe's like you know if you've been waiting to get kobe's i'm glad you got an opportunity you know when these come out everyone's going to get an opportunity to rock military blue for some way shape or form version of them which is awesome right because like these shoes don't come out all the time right so white cement threes bread fours military fours different kobe's like all that stuff it's awesome that the new sneaker heads or even the old ones who again get big boy jobs are now able to um buy these shoes i probably mentioned about how again i think they're making too many jordan fours though and i think eventually they're mm. gonna like not be cool anymore which has happened to the jordan one it's happened to the dunks it's happened to you know new balance 550s it's happened to other new balance models but hopefully the og ish colorways are going to still hold some type of value to people and i think that's like the key to it right i'm like the sulfur fours and the canyon purple fours and like all these random colorway fours green craft gray craft i feel like that's like a different category as something like this like this is a jordan four that's like jordan 4.5 that's how I, I feel like stuff has to be categorized sometimes but you guys know what i'm saying like so, some shoes should be made some shoes shouldn't be made but yeah that's about it i'm glad uh, people can get these awesome shoes when do they even come out i don't even know the fourth fourth of may which yep. we will be in boston oh, that kind of sucks <laughs> Now I'm going to sign up for Foot Lockers and not be able to pick them up. But yeah. Oh, they also have the uh, Nike on the bottom. So, you yeah, know, Nike. Bottom. Thumbnail.
We're back. We have a random array of shoes. We're talking about military fours. Now let's talk about five seven fours. Mm. A pair that uh, I used to get back in the day at Champs when they were, I believe there was like two for 60. Sounds crazy, but uh, I feel like that's like what it was. Um, they made a bunch of different colors. This is probably stuff I probably shouldn't have purchased, but I did. Then there's some stuff we should have purchased, right? Like all these nice retros. Nice to see those. Pure money, something you don't see. Black and purple 12s. Those are crazy. Solomon's. Playoff 8s, one of the better retros to release. Got some crazy up tempos next to the Flight 96 Penny Edition with the number six from the jersey. Winterize eights, copper foams, bunch of other stuff going on. Um, hectic day, a lot of crazy stuff happening. Shouts to all y'all for pulling up. The guys probably had a hectic day here as well. Shouts to them, and let's see what else is going on. Crazy day. Shout out to everyone who pulled up. Sadly, it's been mayhem lately. Just so many people stopping by to uh, support the shop, so we appreciate it. Shout out to everyone who purchased something on the eBay or in store or traded. Just came by to the store and just looked around and appreciated everything that we've done I said today was a crazy day a lot of hard work a lot of shoes got a picture a lot of shoes got bought so really happy about that really happy about the stuff that we are sending out on tuesday because it's definitely starting out to be a great batch and i can only imagine what's going to happen these like next two and a half days till we come back so uh yeah pretty crazy day today i was just actually just looking at these side by side for the first time these blues are uh pretty different not gonna lie either way you know you guys did your review kind of crazy though overall busy day Day, though appreciate everyone coming in to sell you know it's nice to still you know i've been here for a couple months now but it's nice to get to know new faces man and i don't know who they are and then they'll be like yeah like i've been coming since the old store and it's like you know i, I finally get to know who they are so definitely nice just to meet some new people still see some familiar faces and uh yeah yeah it's a great day don't forget to shop us at top12kicks.com where you can catch all those pictures and prices also although these are already sold these are still on our ebay you still want to grab the 2012 pair that's eight and a half pretty clean thanks for watching the youtube don't forget to like comment subscribe top and real quick saturday may 4th the day the military blues come out we it's won't I be i found out it was the 11th you sure i just checked SockX. so they changed it i guess so well either way <laughs> saturday may 4th we will be at boston sneaker con so we will be closed here we'll try to post it so sorry if you guys end up pulling up and we're not here but post it on instagram posting it on youtube we're gonna post it on google we're gonna do our due diligence to try to let you guys know but obviously boston is gonna be a good time Hopefully Hopefully, let's see what's going on here. Top shelf. Hey, y'all. Uh, hello? Hello. Hey, yo, this is Pot. Uh, what part y'all called? Uh, six on Saturdays. Man, we're like six minutes away, bro. I ain't even know that. What are you trying to do? I ain't gonna know. I'm trying to bring some sneakers back. Bring some sneakers back. Yeah. That sounds wild, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I could wait. Uh, I'll be there uh, seven minutes, eight minutes. Awesome. Thank you. No Thanks. problem. Day in the life, guys. Day in the life. Anyways, forgot what I was saying. Sneaker Con Saturday will be closed. So sorry. But, you know, hopefully we'll get some good content, have a good time, buy some great deals, steals and deals. Thanks so much for watching the YouTube. Working hard to continue to provide content for you guys. Very difficult lately. You know, we're trying. Appreciate y'all to the one and done. Doors are already closed. One and done. See you guys on Tuesday. Oh, oh man. man. It's like